Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is how we can prepare phenol from chlorobenzene and now in this topic we are going to talk about that is how we can prepare phenol from isopropyl benzene. So now let's get started. So friends, now in this topic, we are going to talk about that is how we can convert that is isopropyl benzene into phenol. So for that, it is a two-step process that I am going to talk about. So for example, if I am considering isopropyl benzene, which is also known as cumene, so the structure of that could be written as in this manner. So this is nothing but cumene. But the reaction goes on further if we react it with oxygen and that is because of the oxygen that has been present in air and in presence of that is cobalt naphthalate. And the condition that we should sustain here is basically a basic medium or we could call it as alkaline medium. So in alkaline medium as well as we have to provide certain temperature. So in that case basically this cumene will be converted into a certain compound and the compound can be given as having the structure which is nothing but here it is CH3. Here also there it is CH3 and here it will be oxygen, oxygen and this is hydrogen. So the name of this is nothing but cumene hydroperoxide. So this is the first step that I have discussed about and now let us understand the second step of it. So in the second step, the product that we have got in the first step and that is nothing but cumin hydroperoxide that I could write it in this manner. So now this is basically treated with dilute sulfuric acid and in presence of dilute sulfuric acid obviously the product that we could obtain over here is nothing but the main product that is the phenol. That is, this benzene will attach to this OH group while the rest of the thing it will be removed in the form of a byproduct that is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. So, this is nothing but acetone. So, this is how basically we can convert the isopropyl benzene into phenol. So, this is what the main thing that we have required. So, that's it. So, this was nothing but the reaction that I was discussing about. So, thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea that is how you can prepare phenol from isopropyl benzene. So, thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.